Then we have Surah Al-Anbiya, the next Surah. And that Surah is named after the Prophets of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. If you take a careful look at this Surah, it shows us how the Prophets are the chosen ones of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Allah has chosen them above everyone else. Allahu yastafi min al-malaikati rusulan wa min al-nas. It is Allah who has chosen the messengers from among the angels and from among people. It's Allah who has given status to others higher than some. So this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decision. However, it does not mean that Allah is upset with you when you are going through turbulent times, when you are going through difficulty, when you are going through a period that may seem negative. It does not mean Allah is upset with you. Perhaps it is through that very problem or issue or difficulty that you will achieve closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many of us are guilty of not calling out to Allah with such sincerity? And then when we have problems and difficulties, we become the most sincere people. We start to cry. We get up for salah. We make the promises. We quit our sin. Wouldn't you agree that difficulty was the best gift for us? We got close to Allah in no time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us from those who wait for problems before we turn to him. Rather, let's turn to him during days of ease so that he turns to us or so that he assists us during our difficult days. I mean, so Allah makes mention subhanahu wa ta'ala of the call of all of these messengers one after the other each one of them called out to him so you will notice the words nada nada means to call out he called who called and remember when noah called out to us in the past he was a messenger what did he have to call out for allah says no he called out as well and do you know what and we responded to the call amazing then allah says and remember when Ayyub, Job, may peace be upon him, called out to us. And what does Allah say? We responded to his call. After some time, we gave him. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And remember when Zakaria called out to us. These are the cream of the crop. But they too called out to us. Oh man, are you going to be arrogant not to call out to Allah? Are you going to be impatient not to wait for the response of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Those better than you called out, they cried, they wept, they waited. And Allah says, we replied, we responded, we know, we heard, we were there, we know what went on. Subhanallah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about Yunus alayhi salam, Jonah, may peace be upon him. Allah speaks of the condition in which the Prophet Yunus, may peace be upon him, left his people and he was upset and so on. And Allah says, then he called out to us. You know, he was in the belly of the whale. And Allah says, we heard him. And Allah says, we responded to his call. Subhanallah. And after making mention of all of this, do you know what Allah says regarding all these prophets? إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا يُسَارِعُونَ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ وَيَدْعُونَنَا رَغَبًا وَرَهَبًا They used to strive to do good. They made an effort to do good. And they used to call out to us with hope and fear. Hoping in the mercy of Allah, fearing the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They had hope. They called out. The lesson I want to draw, and this is from the entire surah, it's not connected to a reason of revelation, but it's connected to the name of the surah and the stories in that beautiful surah. Allah says, Al Anbiya. This is, these are the prophets. And here's the lesson. So let's call out to Allah. Never become distressed and despondent because you are going through a difficult time. Every one of us will go through difficult times and the prophets may peace be upon them they all without exception went through difficult times and the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam says it is the prophets of allah and those whom he loves the most who are tested the most and thereafter those who are closest to the prophets in terms of example and following they will have the biggest of the tests May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and may he make us from those who call out to him and never ever lose patience. I